First at six, IU Health is requesting help from the Indiana National Guard as hospitalizations increase across the state amid the latest COVID-19 surge. Plus, working for you, we're digging to see what's being done to help prevent these hospitalizations in the first place. Team coverage tonight investigating all of these issues. We begin tonight with WRTV's Stephanie Wade. Yes, yeah, she spoke to IU Health and the National Guard about how they hope to alleviate the strain on hospital staff. Tonight, IU Health says the demand and strain on their staff is greater than ever. They've brought in all of their employees, recruited as many traveling nurses as they can, they say, but it's still not enough. Now enlisting help from the Indiana National Guard. Hospital beds and monitors don't feel, but I mean, our, we are tired. Our people are incredibly tired. We were watching the numbers go down and to have them turn back around and start going up again is just about the most disheartening thing that I can imagine. And uh, people are really, really, really tired of this. I, I think, uh, you know, you can only you can only do this so long before it just becomes draining. As hospitalizations for both COVID and non-COVID patients reach all-time highs, IU health officials have now asked for assistance from the National Guard for most of their 16 hospitals, except Riley Children's Health. Six-person National Guard teams will include two medics who help with vital sign collection, assisting nurses with IVs and blood collections, and four non-clinical service members who will work on the more administrative and logistical side, assisting with room cleaning, delivering food trays, paperwork, and restocking supplies. This isn't the first time the Indiana National Guard has stepped in in the help in the fight against COVID-19, working at hospitals, nursing homes, testing and vaccination sites all throughout the pandemic. We think of it as, as our members supporting our communities and, and, and really have stepped up for an extended period of time, much longer than you would think of a, a typical deployment uh, opportunity, uh, but stepped up for a long period of time to, to be there for uh, Hoosiers and, and for our, our friends and family in the community. Of the 36,000 employees IU Health has across the state, 125 people left over the vaccine mandate only minimally impacting their staffing issues, Dr. Chris Weaver says. Right now, we are seeing the most hospitalizations for COVID-19 since January. Case numbers have increased to their highest levels since last winter, which is just what Dr. Paul Calkins suspected. As to why we're probably seeing another surge, coronavirus has turned out to be very seasonal viruses. It's very common. You remember the last surge peak really about the same time we expect this one to peak. When it gets cold, he says it starts affecting people more because they're indoors. He doesn't expect us to see the spike of this surge for another three weeks, while several thousand elective surgeries, he says, are being delayed right now because of COVID. That, that's a very genuine concern. I mean, pretty much all of our emergency departments have people who are holding in them because there's no room in the hospital at the moment. Stephanie Wade, WRTV. Teams are slated to help hospitals for one week but can be extended for longer. The National Guard has already arrived in Muncie at IU Ball Memorial Hospital and will arrive at other hospitals next week.